Hello, I'm Sue Shapcott in Madison, Wisconsin. One of the things that annoys me most is slow play. Now, it doesn't matter how good or bad you are, you can still learn to play fast. So I'm gonna go through some of my pet peeves. I hope they help you when you're playing golf so that people actually want to play golf with you instead of avoiding you. Okay, so the first thing is, I've got an approach shot to the green and I care about the shot, but I am only gonna make one practice swing. If I make one practice swing, I'm ready to go. And I've advanced the ball further down the fairway. If I take more than that, then the time I take to hit my shot really increases, okay? So your playing partners are gonna be waiting, they're gonna start to get frustrated. So I would make a rule, one practice swing, go. It should take you no more than 15 to 20 seconds from when it's your time to hit to when you actually strike the ball. And that leads me on to the second thing. That is being ready to hit when it is your turn to play. So let's say my friend over there is hitting, hitting his shot. I'm watching him. I'm kind of looking out for the ball for him so I know where it's gone. I'm interested, I'm paying attention, but not to the extent that I'm not preparing for my shot. So as soon as my playing partner over there has hit, I've got to be ready to go, okay? So what's going to slow you down is if you watch your playing partner hit and then you realize, oh, okay, it's my turn to hit now. Um, what club am I going to hit? How far do I have to go? Um, where's my bag? So the takeaway here is be ready to hit when it's your turn to play so that your group can keep moving along as quickly as possible. Which brings me on to the third thing. If you walk when you play, then great. I'm a big advocate of, of walking, but make sure you walk fast, okay? So golf is a sport, I like to say. So you should be um, having a brisk walk and you should be moving down the fairway at a good pace. Okay, so we finished out the hole. So there's two more things that I want to go through here. One is that if you are keeping score, standing on the putting green is not the place to mark your scorecard, okay? So you're gonna mark your scorecard when you're on your way to the next tee or when you're on the next tee when one of your other playing partners is hitting, okay? If you confer on the green, that's gonna slow you down. The group behind is gonna be waiting and getting annoyed. Finally, my next tee is on this side of the green. Okay, but my golf cart is back that way. Okay, so that means in order to get to the next tee, I need to backtrack, pick up my golf cart, and then move to the next tee. If I'm walking, it's the same thing. So what I need to do is know where the next tee is so that as I'm approaching the green, I'm gonna park my cart and leave my clubs on that side of the green so I can just keep moving, move straight to the next tee instead of backtracking. Okay, so I really hope that those tips help you with your pace of play. Um, they are not ten intended to scold you or shame you for slow play, but, but simply give you some strategies so that you can improve your pace of play so that your game is going to be more fun and you're going to be more fun to play with, um, with your group. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.